Well, police are the ones who enforce the law and pledge to keep us safe. But before they hit the streets, they have to go through cadet training. WENY Samantha Potter got a behind the scenes look into Southern Tier Law Enforcement Academy today. Police, who's there? Police, what do you want? Come out. We had a we got a report of a man holding a knife at a, a local convenience store. So we have to enter the building, um, secure each room as we're we're progressing through the store and then make contact with the, the suspect. Put the knife down. No, well, say please and I'll put it down. Put the knife down now. Like this? This was just one reality-based scenario cadets from the Southern Tier Law Enforcement Academy were faced with. When I actually uh, witnessed the vehicle or the individual, I actually talked them to turn around so that I could actually see the weapon that they had. They branded the weapon. I gave specific instructions to drop the knife, um, and then I told them what action I was going to take if they actually came towards me with a knife. Because any kind of a situation like that, uh, an action is uh, much quicker than a reaction. So as you enter, you know you have to to move tactically through the rooms. Um, obviously, de-escalation is always, you know, priority one. Um, in this case, uh, I attempted to de-escalate the situation with the individual and, uh, you know, this being a training exercise that, that was not uh, able to, to be done. The 13 cadets represent nine agencies from across the southern tier. The reality-based training is one of the last parts of the five-month-long academy. Each scenario is meant to teach the cadets how to react to a situation in a moment's notice. Stop walking towards me or I will shoot you. That not every scenario is a shoot scenario. A lot of them are no-shoot scenarios. Again, it's we like to get the officers thinking about the situations before they act. After the academy, the cadets will go back to their police departments and do field training there. They're expected to graduate this August. Reporting in Bath, Samantha Potter, WENY News.